This is St James's Park, the historic home of Newcastle United. Alan Smith has joined me, Martin Tyler, for the commentary. Premier League football is coming right up for you. It's Newcastle United, and they take on Watford. I think if we get a nice, sharp, quick tempo to begin with, we're in for a real treat here because we've got a couple of entertaining sides that love to go forward. Number 42, Nabil Bentele. Number 8, John Joe Shelby. Well, I wonder which of the sprinters on each side is going to be the dominant force in this game. Well, they're both absolute flyers and uh, both will be hoping to get into one-on-one -on -one situations to attack their opponents. It's certainly an asset and an aspect of this match worth watching. It could be a special day, this one, for Newcastle United. We'll see. They've got the game underway. Newcastle United's lineup. Martin Dubravka is the goalkeeper. Federico Fernandez plays alongside Jamal Lascelles at the back. John Joe Shelby starts. He was man of the match in his last game. And just to put them in front. Well, he has started fast and they've started fast. That's the opening goal. got to admire the way he placed the ball into the bottom corner of the net but the goalkeeper was in a decent position but he was helpless to uh, stop that one going in so the first goal it's 1-0 Joe Linton now they can swing into attack He's got some help. He's won it back easily. Oh, that's a bad ball. Kiko Firmenia behind the defenders, over their heads. Can finish it off. Turned on to the woodwork, and he's put it away. Well, it's no coincidence how many goals like this has he scored. He's just got ability to sniff out the chance, to anticipate when the keeper's going to spill it. You can't be too critical of the keeper, but he just needed some help from his defenders there. Restarting at 2-0. Number nine, Troy Deeney. got possession back for his team I think the referee is showing how he's going to officiate this match he's going to be a free kick he's not going to stand any nonsense Alan McAnally is at the Etihad Stadium and he's got news of a goal for us it's a goal for Manchester City it's been scored by Raheem Sterling the ball bounced up just inside the area and he caught it on the volley and despite getting a hand to it the keeper couldn't keep it out 12 minutes played, 1-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Here's Ducure. Holibas. De La Feu. Taking on the opposition and the responsibility as well. It's another one for them. They go further in front and they are full value for this position. Just look at the way he's got past these defenders, Alan, and really maximised the situation he created for himself. Well, he did. It was, he was head down and some wonderful balance and footwork to beat a couple of defenders and knock the ball in the back of the net. Wonderful goal. Number seven, Delafield. It's turning out to be an embarrassing scoreline, really, as we're underway again. There's been a goal in the Crystal Palace match, Alan McInally. It's a goal for Aston Villa. 18 minutes played, 1-0. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McInally. Thanks, Alan. And that's gone out for a throw-in. Could get his cross in now. Opportunity here. Off the keeper, back into play. That did look like a real opening. But they've dealt with it. Here's Joe Linton. 
Well, they want to keep getting the ball into the middle, but better crosses than that. Kiko Femenia. Here's Ducure. Femenia. They can spread the play now. Etienne Capu. Well, here they are, still probing away. Trying to pick out someone in the centre. Only partially cleared, so there's still some problems for them. He's definitely got his goal touch with him today, hasn't he? The first was a decent one. Here's the second, and still time for more to come. A goal of a top class, really, here. Well, he's got a track record of that. On his left side, he's so dangerous. Well, we're underway again, and you just wonder how many more they can get today. to clear it and he did at the expense of a corner oh, and here it is again Deo Lefeo's goal and they've got a well it rests with the referee as to whether to stop the play that's what the laws of the game say and he has stopped the play Newcastle United coming off the pitch number six Jamal Lasalle coming onto the pitch number five Poppy and Scar referee's got the ball and he's going to drop it and that's going to get us underway again well the home team has been outplayed and the home supporters have lost their will to support, I think. Well, haven't they just? You could hear a pin drop here. Seen one or two heading for the exits. They're not impressed. It's a heavy touch. Ah, oh, that's a shame. He would have been in the clear, but he's overhit the pass. Rose. Here's Joe Linton. Dwight Gale. Guided through not able to take full advantage of a good position and a big clearance out of danger and out of play in the end well, the fans making their feelings known and that's to be expected when you've been what they see as denied a penalty Hughes well, he's read that hasn't he and made the interception made it look easy actually and Newcastle on the attack Joe Linton shot easy for the goalkeeper when really there was every chance of him being totally beaten then but he's got the ball yeah he was exposed there and uh, he must have thought he was going to get beaten but well the lad just made a real hash of it didn't he Cabasele on the move and able to cut out the pass good vision he's through here it's opened up and a goal for Newcastle United Well, you have to feel for the keeper. I mean, his defenders have just left him to it. 2v1. Four, 1 is the scoreline. Taking on the defenders. He's got a chance to cross. Not a great cross, really. For the goalkeeper an easy piece of work being closed down well listen to this you can feel the frustration in this stadium their team's been poor so far well below their usual standards well they're attacking here might be a chance for Newcastle three minutes no nonsense defending it was needed John Joe Shelby that's a turnover of possession here. Hughes. He might be through. Looks 
to shoot. So there we are, half time. Behind the defenders. Really was a very one sided first half, and the team on the wrong end of that scoreline has got to show a bit of backbone now. Here's Joe Linton. We're looking at a well coached team here, drilled in winning the ball back in midfield as a group. Sa. They pressed well, and now they might be in. He wants to play on the shoulder of the last defender. He's just got to get it right. It's all about timing. Here's Joe Linton. Alan is at the Etihad Stadium, and he's got news of a goal for us. It's a third goal for Manchester City. It's been scored by Raheem Sterling. Threads it through. Now it's offside, and it looks as though they might be in to score. He does tend to get caught offside too many times. Got a time he's run better. Just a little nudge to nudge you in the direction of what's coming up on EA Sports for you. Our coverage of the Premier League fixture, Newcastle United, they'll be facing Liverpool away from home. Yeah, I've had a lot of supporters get excited about it, and I am as well. It's gone out for a throw. Exciting player, isn't he? The wide man is being taken off now, actually. Um, but one, two certainly follow well without question he's got plenty of potential within him even now he can improve from this and uh Pereira out in front of goal there's been a goal in front of Alan McAnally at the Etihad Stadium Alan well that's a dreadful error well they're not letting up are they I mean comfortably ahead but continue to uh, create chances ask questions of that keeper some players limbering up for the away team. Substitution in the offing. The ball glued to his boots, it seems. Excellent work. He's given it away. Alan McAnally with a brief <laughs> interruption into our game, and we've interrupted him as well, haven't we? Confirmation for you that Manchester City did score in that match. And now that... And shoots! Trying so hard to make the opening there. Nearly. So how about Watford and the next game, Alan? Yeah, they're playing Arsenal in the next match. And uh, I think this cup tie will be extremely tight. Here's a chance to whip it in. No cross, good block. Costly loss of possession maybe here. Tries to shot here. And easily within the goalkeeper's reach, that shot. And it's with Newcastle again. Dwight Gale. Probing with the pass. Opportunity to cross it now. And the referee spotted that deflection. He's pointed for the corner. Swung in from the corner. And he's dealt with it, that dangerous moment. An update from the Etihad, from Alan McAnally. It's another goal for Manchester City. It's been scored by Ilke Gundogan. A clever reverse pass left him clear of the defence, and he made no mistake. 69 minutes played, 5-0. Thanks, Alan. It's offside, and the referee's given it. Still 20 minutes to go. Dwight Gale. And Maxima opening them up with a through pass. That's proper clearance, well away from the danger zone. Gale. We could get a cross in here. A corner to come now. He's tackled the ball behind, really. Put the corner in the middle. It's a fine stop, a full stretch from the keeper to turn that aside. Shot off! That's a good block. Here's Bentaleb. 
No time for an extra touch after the tackle. It's out of harm's way. Well, that is a cheap piece of play to give the ball away like that. Substitute coming up for the away team. Cuts it out nicely. He's gone in very fairly and won the ball cleanly. Now he wants to take them on. Come away with the ball cleanly. Great tackle. Nabil Bentaleb. Well, he seemed to see a pass there that none of us could see from where we're commentating from. That's a foul, free kick. Well, Alan, here's the substitution now. Well, he's done his bit. He got the goal that put his team in the lead. Can they hold that lead? Miguel Almiron. Gale. Kiko Femenia. Abdullah Dukure. Still seven minutes left on the clock. Ignacio Fusetto. Intercepted well. It's been a goal at Stamford Bridge, Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Chelsea. Five minutes remain. 3-1. Thank you very much, Alan. He knew the space was there to run into. And if he'd waited a little bit, or the, perhaps the ball came a bit earlier, they might have been in, but offside it is. Yeah, I think he's a bit annoyed with the lad who passed that he didn't release the ball earlier and uh, if he had have he would have been on I think free kick given easy decision for this referee and there's going to be no leniency here it's got to be a card a yellow one yeah he reached for that back pocket straight away and out it came he's keeping us guessing here not quite sure what he's going to do Goalkeeper not really tested by that free kick. Hughes trying a bit too hard, trying to force the pass, and it went to, straight to an opponent. The referee's had a good look and decided what he's seen from this uh, period of play to add on three minutes. Here's Bentaleb. Well, they're getting the ball forward, they need to do that. Really gone to blast it goalwards, but it's into the crowd. Yeah, that's not a great one. It's clipped in over the top. Trying to run off the shoulder of the last player offside. That is a weakness in his game. Gets caught offside too many times. Time. The winning is such a joy, of course, the converse of that. Behind the defenders, over their heads. 